What's going on, Ospreys? Welcome to the Daily Swoop on Inside Swoop in 90. I'm Nevin Jacoma, here to give you the inside scoop on Inside Swoop. First up, a gunman in Mississippi was caught after killing six people, including his ex-wife and stepfather. The suspect was arrested outside of his house, where even more bodies were found. Police say the suspect had a record of mental illness. According to the police report, the 52-year-old was jailed without bond on a single charge of capital murder. Next up, records show that 6,542 guns were confiscated by U.S. airport security in 2022. According to the AP, guns have been intercepted everywhere. However, it tends to happen more in bigger airports in areas with more gun-friendly laws. A TSA administrator, David Bacosi, says, quote, what we see in our checkpoints really reflects what we see in society. And in society, there are more people carrying firearms nowadays. Finally, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. won the longest Daytona 500 in history. According to the AP, 212 laps were pushed during the 500 this past weekend, a whole dozen more than what was scheduled. The race concluded after 530 miles and took over three and a half hours to complete. Records show that this is Stenhouse's third victory in his 15-year career with the NASCAR. After the race, Stenhouse said, quote, This is unbelievable. It was a tough season, but man, we got it done. Well, Ospreys, that's it for this edition of the Daily Swoop on Inside Swoop in 90. I'm Nevin Jacoma, and I'll see you next time.